Well, I'm back, and I guess we should go pick up that uh, rare candy first. After all, that means we do have enough rare candies now to pick up Thrash. Which, admittedly, I, I maybe should have just done in the first place, but I think we'll let Mega Kick uh, take a shot for now. After all, I'd rather save the rare candies for, you know, when I'm higher level, you know? That way I can use them for, like, the Elite Four, preferably. Because I'm assuming we're going to have to push up quite a bit to get past Lorelei and her freaking ice moves. And her water moves. Like, she's going to be the one of our biggest challenges. Because, you know, our rival might have access to Squirtle and Executor or something. But, you know, that's long-term problem. And it's not as bad as going up against an entire team that can threaten our weak spots. Going with a quick attack, huh? Well, hopefully we land the Mega Kick. Sweet. That takes care of you, all right. And puts me just a step closer to getting access to it. Okay. Well, since we didn't lose any accuracy, I guess we can try another 75% Mega Kick. Well, that's probably going to be Squirtle, basically. Oh, going for a defense boost, huh? I can dig it. Well, let's do a double kick. After all, that should be enough to shatter the rest of her defenses. Definitely gonna replace that with Brick Break when we can, though, probably. Let's see, Abra, huh? Well, I think it's time to bring out Miss Geo, then. After all, Miss Geo does deserve an easy fight, and let's face it, all Abra knows at this point is teleport, so we can definitely, you know, throw a series of Mega Punches at it until it goes down. Even with our uh, low level, this is an easy one to pick up some experience on. Come on, just smack it again. Well, we've been having a lot of luck with the mega punches and kicks so far this episode. I'm sure it misses coming in here at some point. Um, no, apparently we're spawning the mark again. <sighs> it's making me nervous, like when's the luck gonna fail me, huh? Because this can't keep going on forever. Like, at some point, you know, RNG is going to come back to bite me in the butt and be like, no. Okay, we could try and tackle the Rattata, but I think we'll go with uh, a Mega Punch. After all, Rattata's got weak defenses, so we'll try and just shatter it really fast. Come on, one more. Ugh. Gosh darn it. And that should be within tackle range, right? At least I hope so. Come on, it may not be very effective, but, you know, I am very slow. Okay, that gives us another 183 experience, so... Boom, all the way up to 11. That means we can learn Rock Throw! Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I will, obviously. We'll get rid of, a uh, Mudsport. Though we can learn Rock Slide at some point, and we probably will be putting it on Miss Geo, probably. Because I don't think I can give it to Aerodactyl. I'll have to double-check that, but I don't think that's possible. I mean, if I could give Aerodactyl Rock Slide, I would definitely do it. <sighs> oh, wait, I can't use that this run. This is a ground-type run. I'm thinking of doing a rock run. Ugh, it's... It's, it's the other run I want to start, you know, but I have to finish up the Poison Run first and Leaf Green, or start a Pure File for Fire Red, you know, without the Moemon optics on top of it. Ugh, decisions, decisions. Yeah, plodding along, I know. Yeah, I really don't need that, but just shut and be gone, man. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with, uh, getting that ticket for now. Yeah, yeah, I know why it's called Nugget Bridge, dude. I've been here before. Many a time. Okay, you're gonna start off with a Caterpie, huh? Maybe I could use, uh, Miss Geo to get some kills here, then? After all, I mean, picking up Thrash would be nice and will help out with Misty, so... I gotta weigh my options here. But I think there's going to be other uh, targets for us. Yeah, we'll send out Miss Geo. I really want her to pick up some levels quickly so I can get some use out of her at some point, you know? 
outside of you know these tr random trainer battles. Well, that takes care of the Metapod. That's what happens when you're so slow, though. You get outsped by a Geodude. Yeah, I'll switch out. I'm still worried about the potential of being poisoned here, so uh, we'll let uh, Harry Champ do his thing. Come on, get your Weedle out there and let me peck it. And peck it good. And there goes down Weedle, right? And that puts me at level 21, so we're even one level closer to learning Thrash. Kakuna? Uh, we'll switch back. Get in there, Miss Geo. And crush that Kakuna underneath your rock throw. After all, I mean, I'll get you up to level 12 at least. Ah, this was an outsped me, huh? Well, you can't win them all. Well, that might give it a chance to survive here. Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, come on. Just because you keep making yourself harder doesn't mean you're going to win. You gotta try using a tackle attack, man. Kakuna's like, I don't know tackle attack! My trainer evolved me too early, damn it! Which probably means he caught it as a Kakuna, which is just dumb. Like, at least give it some sort of attacking move, man. <sighs> Lousy trainers. Oh, we made the second base? I guess it is serious. Oh, a Pidgey? Yeah, that's... That's definitely a Pokemon on its own that's being super serial, man. Well, at least you don't have to worry about Poison Point with that. Though I suppose I could have started this fight off with Miss Chio. Darn it. What else is you gonna bring out? Oh, an Oddish? Definitely don't want to switch then. No, no, no. That'd be a terrible idea at this point. After all, I mean, this Oddish would probably know Absorb, and boom, there goes Miss Geo. Just killed in one move. Okay, what you gonna follow it up with? A Bell Sprout? Uh, keeping the king. Keeping the king. Come on, king. Take it down with your peck attack. It's kind of sad we're relying on Peck to deal with things, but, you know, uh, there's lots of uh, early plant types to be dealt with around here. Okay. Oh, number three, huh? Well, I guess next one we're going home. Uh, Sand Shrew. Well, now, ain't that just an interesting pick? Mega kick it. Come on, just take it down one hit. Well, there goes the Sand Shrew. You really should have picked a better Pokemon, kid. And Ekans, huh? Well, I don't really have any better options here. I mean, Miss Geo would be in just the same tough spot. I mean, I could throw rocks, but it's not very effective. And trying to lower my defenses, huh? Trying to set me up for a rap attack, maybe? Well, I guess we'll never know. Because <laughs> it got knocked out before it could do it. Oh, so close. So close to level 22. And come on. No, not really. Like, even Miss Geo is not getting tired of this yet, and she's like my weakest Pokemon. Ah, Nidoran male, huh? Well, here, let me show the power of the evolved version. Damn, that's four out of five hits there for this episode. We haven't even tried the fifth one yet. That is rather surprising, but we have now learned Thrash, okay. Yeah. We'll, uh, toss Leer. Let's face it, we're basically going to have Harry focus on all-out offensive strategy, so giving up Blear makes perfect sense. And Nidoran female? Well, I think we can just thrash it into submission. It has better defenses, but I think this will work out. 
Like, don't mess with the thrash, man. Okay. And then we get to the fifth one. <sighs> oh, I doubt you're gonna stomp on me. If the other four couldn't stomp on me, what makes you think you stand a ghost of a chance? I mean, come on, Ethan. Oh, a manky? So, oh, jeez. Well, I could peck it, but I think I'll just thrash it. Yeah, I'm not expecting much out of the monkey. It's got no defense. It's why the fighting run was such a pain in the butt. Because Mankey can't take a hit. For crap. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I did. I don't know why they're paying out gold nuggets, though. How about no? Jeez. I love how they don't actually even give you the option, like, would you like to join Team Rocket? And then, like, you select yes, like, you're a horrible, horrible trainer. Using your Pokemon to commit crimes. Then Officer Jane comes out and arrests you, and it's just game over. I mean, it'd be stupid, but I think it'd also be hilarious. <laughs> okay, let's thrash it. Well, that's one down. And that just leaves uh, Zubat, huh? Well then, send out Miss Geo. Now hopefully we don't get confused. Because if we get confused, this is going to be a much harder fight than it needs to be. Nope, going for a ghost move, going for a flinch. Not the best idea, because that chance of flinch is like 10% or something on Astonish. It's not very good. If you're counting on Astonish for your flinches, you might as well just give up. I'm not so good so much as you're so horrible. Seriously. Yeah, I don't really get a choice there. Attract, huh? Well, I don't think I can really use that against Starmie. I don't know if I have a Pokemon of the opposite uh, gender I could use to try and uh, take advantage of that. And gosh darn, is it going to take me like 20 minutes to get the bill now? <sighs> Suddenly parts of this game are just really long. Though I kind of wish I could take this Onyx off of him. Since it would help my day out. Well, what's he going to do now? Is he going to try and go for a rock throw? or Nope, he's just going to bind me. Well, I guess I'll get an extra like what? couple hit points after that because of uh, Bind's effects. Um, yeah, I took off another four. Okay. So it took off additional like one tenth or so of my health. One twentieth? Yeah, because it's four points. I'm almost at 80 hit points. Gosh darn, is uh, that extra effect disappointingly weak? Yeah, I know, back in the day, Binds and wraps were really powerful because, you know, you couldn't attack while you were bound, but that's not a thing anymore. Okay. Yeah, I kind of bypassed your boyfriend because I didn't want to deal with him. He ain't worth my time. Please prove you have something that's worth my time. Okay, you got yourself a Nidoran male. Okay, we'll just thrash it. After all, I don't want to deal with it. Well, that's one down. And you're gonna fall with a Nidoran female. Thrash it again then. Gosh darn it. I kind of wish we could find another trainer with some gosh darn birds so I could let Miss Chio out to start throwing some rocks. They've been really annoying me here. Not as much as that one dude's Butterfree does, though. Oh, jeez. I know where Bill's at, you don't have to tell me. It's just a pain to get there. Okay, first one, Geodude. Problem is, I can't deal with these Geodudes without access to Magnitude. And I only get that at level, uh, 16. Which, we're not there yet. 
we had it, I'd definitely be using them on these lower level Geotoots to, you know, take them out to our advantage. Um, let's see. I guess we'll send out a uh, Miss Geo. Then go for a switch, right? Pokemon, Harry Champ. Because that's one way to pick up a few extra EXPs there, you know? Because Rock Throw's not going to really work on us that much. Then we can double kick back, you know, for like a win, basically. Oh, damn, I didn't think it was going to be that potent. Yeah, hit one time. Like, I thought I'd at least get both kicks in. Well, that should get Miss Geo up to level 13, at least. Um, yeah, we'll uh, switch back again. Admittedly, this is a very, uh, tedious tactic, but sometimes it's, like, the only way, you know? At least not having access to experience share, and that requires me to get, like, 50-some-plus Pokemon in this game. In the Pokedex, and just like, that ain't gonna happen. Well, time for some more double kicking. After all, I can't thrash this thing very well. I mean, it, it'd probably do all right damage just because of my level at this point. But I'd rather stick to something I know is going to work fast. Oh, you're going to send out Machop? Well, we could thrash it. Or we could peck it. Well, we'll thrash it. After all, I mean, if we have access to such a potent move at the moment, we should definitely abuse it as much as possible, right? <sighs> yeah, well, it wasn't hard to get you good. We could get that item, but I don't really need it. Ugh, I can't bypass you. So I might as well just go for it. Ugh, come on. Don't make me wait, Haley. Okay, let's go, champ. Let's let's just thrash it. Thrash the crap out of this Oddish. Question is if she can use anything interesting afterwards. Um a Pidgey, huh? Well, we'll switch out then. After all, Pidgey's got nothing on Miss Chigo. Use the right Pokemon for the right fight. You can quick attack all you want. Our levels are too close for that to be an effective tactic. My defense is too high. But I will take that 150 experience points. I'll take it. Pokemon, switch out. Yes, we're gonna have to probably eat a powder move. Yes, this may end up being more annoying than it's worth. Oh, it went with, uh, Absorb. Well, that's neutral damage, and let's face it, the level advantage is too great for that to be effective here. Apparently she thought I was going to keep Geodude in, she could just one-shot with an Absorb. <laughs> she would not have been wrong about that. But I'm not that crazy. Well, put you up to 14 at least. Almost there. Yeah, 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 just back off, will ya? Now I'll get that SS ticket. Yes, I know who you are. Yeah, yeah, I know, you messed up your fly-like experiment. So that'll help you fix ya. Instead of catch and put you in a ball. Because now I couldn't advance the plot. I suppose it would be funny, you know, if we could catch Bill and be like, Ugh, I guess you're never going to go back to being a normal human, but I'll keep this talking Pokemon and make bank off of it. Seriously, why does Team Rocket not exploit Meowth more often? It's a talking Pokemon. That's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, you do owe me, so can you please give me an SS ticket? I mean, we're going to arrive too late to enjoy it. Because the feast and everything is going to be over, but... Gosh darn, will we at least be able to fight some trainers and pick up Cut? 
and humiliate our rival again. And that's its own reward, right? I suppose we can start that fight off with a Geo dude, of all things. After all, we do have Rock Throw for that stupid Pidgey. Or Pidgeotto, so he's evolved it by then. Well, that'll do for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.